operation. The on-off button is located at the front of the remote. Designed for a wide range of users, the button is large for easy targeting and has a defined action to give user feedback that the button has been pressed. The on-off button also shows the system status. A green light shows the system is powered up and ready, and a red flashing light indicates an error which stops the power chair from operating. The battery gauge is located at the top of the remote and is visible when driving. Each of the five LEDs represents 20% battery life. Five lit LEDs means the power chair is fully charged. The joystick has been ergonomically designed and can be used by a wide range of users. The force required to activate the Lynx joystick is lower than any standard joystick. The drive button accesses different drive functions that can be customized by the power chair provider to suit the user. Functions such as indoor and outdoor can be accessed here. The speed pot built into the on-off button can be used to adjust the maximum speed within a drive function. This mechanical speed pot is easy to change for all users, even those with limited or fine hand control. The speed pot is also clearly visible at power-up, so avoids anxiety for users who are worried about the initial power chair speed. The chair symbol features an illuminated drive wheel. Green and steady means drive at full speed. Green and slow flashing means the speed is limited due to seat function or an inbuilt sensor. The seat buttons can be accessed via the simple seat button. Seat functions can be programmed to be displayed in a set pattern or last used method, whichever is preferred. Simply press the seat function button and then left or right joystick movements selects the seat function whilst the forward-backwards joystick movement extends or retracts that particular function. The movement is proportional to the joystick deflection, meaning the further the joystick is pushed, the faster the movement. To exit out of seating mode, simply click on the drive button, which will highlight the drive function button. For lighting, a short press on the right-hand side button activates the side lights, and a long press on the right-hand side button activates the right indicator. A short press on the left-hand side button activates the hazard lights and a long press on the left-hand side button activates the left indicator. A quick press turns off the last function. The lights have been designed so the more frequently used functions are quicker to access. The keyless lock function can be activated by holding the on-off button for over 4 seconds. The left, centre and right battery LED will flash to show the power chair is in lock mode and the joystick will not operate. To unlock, simply turn on the remote and press the horn button twice within 10 seconds. This is a programmable feature, so can be disabled by the power chair provider to suit the needs of the user. When it comes to connecting the charger, simply plug into the charger port and the battery display will scroll left to right. To ensure maintenance of the power chair is upheld, a charge cycle must be a minimum of 10 minutes. During the charging process, the power chair has a built-in safety feature in which it will not operate to prevent damage to the charger or the power chair.